at a moment when you go to sleep, which we call the uh, circulation of the blood changes, uh, becomes weaker, even though it creates a, that's a weakening of the magnetic field of the blood. Not only it allows the soul to be more freely expanding out, and now we understand, and we, we're implementing this into work of the Keshe Foundation with a new headset, that the, as you fall asleep, your the liquid in the brain, in the half which is not working, is supposed to be on repairs, like a, opening a sink at the bottom of a bath, loses all its liquid. It goes literally dry. And the brain cells literally shrink, like they've been inflam inflammated in the liquid, like a balloon in the water. They shrink. And in that process of shrinking, as this liquid going through the brain down, like a sink, it washes all the energy, whatever the cell of the brain didn't need. Now we understand how brain cleanses itself, gets rid of it. And when you do not have enough liquid or rapid flow, bits gets stuck, and certain protein in that dry time is like a leech stick to the brain, and this protein starts the process of the Alzheimer's or brain cancer and the rest. This research is, is amazing, how how much information we gathered about this research, and I'm sure leading universities now will go for this to find out, because we never knew that our brain, literally like a balloon deflates, all the veins become like a safe, and the liquid goes right through it, washes all the energy, all the surplus was not needed out. There are two questions now, the world of science needs to answer is, where does this liquid go, because I haven't managed to find out the sinkhole yet. And then it gets filled up with a fresh water till you sleep next time. Then we have understood with this research and others which are following in it, that how crucial sleep is. The sleep is not so crucial as you need to read what you could refresh your body, is how much your brain gets washed and cleans up his mess of the day work. And if you don't cover it, it takes to do this because it's done in a synchronized matter, if you don't get six hours of sleep, minimum to eight hours, you get all the problems of emotional and everything else. And this has opened a lot of things in the work of the Keshe Foundation Research and Development. And uh, we, we understand this change. And the point for us is that uh, uh, the shrinking off or washing of the brain, in which point is the best time to put the headphones on you? I noticed this a few weeks ago, in the past three, four months, many of the knowledge seekers who come on these sessions, they fall asleep. And in a way, we're hitting a dry land. There's no water in the brain, depends on which part of the... It's mainly because we run our sessions, many Canadians and Americans are in their sleep phase. And we hear them snoring. And we put them on the sides. But some of these sessions goes for six or eight hours. We start looking at the behavior of the Americans, because we always catch them asleep. And some Europeans fall asleep too. But how much the soul is affected or behaved during the dry time and the wet time. And how much and what kind of dreams become to reality for these people in 
that time. If it's the four hour session, we're looking for that four hours. Uh, other in the middle of two hours is when it's the absolute minimum liquid in the brain. And with that, there is no interaction between the cells, but that liquid is a communicator connector for part of the system of the brain. And this, uh, this research uh, has risen a lot of interest for me to find the right time to put people in the machine the right way. And how much the intention of the emotion has to do with it. We are feeling you continuously with the fields. Does not matter if you're in Australia, in Palestine, in America. But how do you, how can you tap into our system to take what you need from it? And how our system is set to tap into the universal circus? Which means, doesn't matter how much you get, we can feed every living thing on this planet and it still be that little bucket. Because we're just channeling the fields to you. You want energy for two tomatoes, I don't have any, but because I'm connecting to the sun, that's where all the energy comes. It gets tapped in. I never lose, I never become one tomato, I still energy of two tomatoes in my system. And this is the way um, the new understanding of technology is taking shape. When is the most vulnerable? When there is no interaction between the liquid and the brain, is at the driest point that the soul rapidly expands. And is this why some of you click on and you're on it? Because you're so tired at the point and the brain has gone through drainage system. And uh, this is, is this why uh, some of you, doesn't matter what we do, we cannot get through you because that liquid is so thick. It doesn't matter how we do it, how we play with you. And have you learned minutes of sleep than four hours of sleep? These are the things which will come up. Now we, we're developing system to handle this. It's actually in operation. Some of you in Sanya will go through this. 